Hi, and welcome to this research session. It is estimated that we have 5 million people per week doing our classes all over the world. Now that's a pretty amazing feat, and all of you instructors deserve a big pat on the back for your efforts. But let's put that in perspective, because it seems that every time we pick up the newspaper, we hear the grim facts about people not doing enough exercise. The US alone has an estimated 72.5 million people who are obese with some states having greater than 30% obesity levels. This figure is rising at an alarming rate, and there's even some thought that these figures underestimate the actual total. We know that 60% of adults don't do enough exercise to generate health-related changes, with 30% of the population being totally inactive. This means we are only scratching the surface of this massive global problem. Now we here at Les Mills International are committed to doing our very best to change this. We have a goal to get 20 million people doing our classes by 2020. Now that's a big goal, but we feel it's our moral duty to do our bit to make the population more healthy and in doing so improve lives. So what makes us think that group fitness can transform people from their sedentary behaviour into exercise junkies like you and I? Well, studies show that people will often do better when they exercise in groups. When we compare different types of exercise settings, we see that when people train in groups, they exercise harder, they exercise for longer, and they're likely to come more often. There's something within the cohesive nature of a group setting that makes people more comfortable training in this environment. And if they are more comfortable, they will turn up more often and they'll train harder. Now we also see some pretty amazing effects when we add music to the mix. It appears that when you play uplifting music, people will naturally want to exercise harder. Some studies suggest that music alters our level of perceived exertion during exercise. That is, we train harder without realising it. While other studies claim we just don't mind exercising harder when we listen to music. All of this means that music makes the whole experience better for our participants. So, we stick people in groups, play some music, and bingo. People want to train hard and come back and do it again. But there's one more key factor that we know can make or break the group fitness experience, and that's the instructor. Researchers have manipulated different aspects of instruction in a group fitness setting. They found that if the instructor encouraged people and created a socially enriched environment this is the main ingredient in determining whether people will come back for more. So, although we know that we can control the setting to get people into groups and provide great music, it still boils down to whether you guys can create that energy to maximise the experience of the people in the room. So we here at LMI do our very best to keep creating opportunities by providing great music and great choreography so that you can connect with the people in front of you and deliver life-changing fitness experiences every time you teach. We believe that we can fill exercise classes all over the world if we get this right and start edging toward that magic figure of 20 million by 2020. Now what that will give us is a voice. People around the world will start to notice that something amazing is going on. They will want to join in and only then will we start making inroads into changing the attitudes toward exercise and fitness on a global scale. The world needs this. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.